So this is where we're at. We went ahead and filled in the spaces uh, where the sheathing was missing from staggering the sheets. So that's been all filled in. We've cut out the windows. We went ahead and we painted the rafter tails and the eaves so we wouldn't have to worry about that uh, once we get the siding up. And then we also cut out the barge rafters which we have staged inside here until we are ready to put them up. So the next thing that we're going to do is work on our gable ends. Uh, we do have them framed out. Once we get our 12 foot tub in, we'll put in that center stud and then we can put on the sheathing and we can work on putting on the windows and the shingles and all that. We also have to put on the barge rafter. We also have to put on the ridge cap and then the rest of the trim for the roof. And we have a lightning rod system that we're going to be installing. And that one will probably be its own video. So we're excited about sharing that. We just got our articulated boom lift delivered. And Stacy is driving it onto our farm. Looks like quite a beast. Here Stacy has got the boom lift and starting to position it so that he can get to the ridge peak and put on the top trim for the roof. This is a pretty delicate operation because he's using hand controls and they're kind of jerky and he doesn't want to hit the roof. I think he's doing an awesome job. Is that much easier than trying to be up there on the roof doing that? Well, it was impossible before. So we're getting ready to install our lightning protection system. We already have a ground rod driven in this corner, eight foot copper clad ground rod. And there's one driven in the opposite corner of the house as well. We're gonna start at this corner and we're gonna run aluminum cable. Now the aluminum's not gonna be attached to the ground rod because it's a different uh, metal. But we're gonna start our aluminum cable here at this corner. We're gonna go up the corner. It'll be hidden behind the siding of it. And then we'll sweep out and then we have to go uh, up the edge of the eave all the way to the peak. And then along the peak of the roof we'll run it lengthwise and our air terminals will be spaced out along the, the ridge. We have three air terminals, one will be in the middle of the house and then one at each end. And then the cable will run down the opposite corner of the house and be attached to the ground rod down there. already put on our glass toppers and made sure that the screws are really tight because I don't want to have to tighten them up uh, later. So until I get them installed though I'm going to keep them inside the cardboard boxes for protection and then I'm just going to go up and screw them into the brackets and make sure they're real tight.
here's a view from the front side of the building where you can see the three lighting rods sticking up. The cable is on the back side of the building. With the lightning rod system up, it was time to put in the clawfoot tub so that we could close in the gable in. Today we were working all the way until the sun went behind the mountains. We got most of the plywood up on the gable end. Stacy's finishing. We also got the bridge cap on and the lightning rod system. It's a good day. So how do you like working on the uh, boom lift? It's definitely a game changer. Um, the only thing you have to get used to is the bounce uh, when you're working. So it's kind of like working underway, which luckily I'm already used to. One thing that is nice about this rental we have is most things are rented by days or hours and larger equipment sometimes is rented by engine hours. So even though we've rented this technically for a day, it's actually eight engine hours and uh, so we rented it over a holiday weekend so they're not actually picking it up for two days but we have it for eight engine hours so once Stacy gets it positioned where he needs it to do whatever work he's doing he just turns off the engine so that extends how much work we can get done our design aesthetic is a solid American farmhouse with beautiful decorative elements that is why we did a scalloped barge rafter and why we have the decorative glass balls on our lightning rods. We did it because it is pretty and it just makes us happy. Our next big task on our house is installing windows. This is the first time we're going to be installing windows. And here we are all set up with our man lift. We have our window, we have all of our tools. I'm going to go upstairs and work from the inside and we'll see how it goes. Here comes our first test. We're going to dry fit the window. It looks good, huh? And there are our first two windows installed. Look pretty good. Very excited. So today we finished putting in our three windows and our top area our top floor, attic, whatever you want to call it. Stacy's finishing flashing the front window. These are the rear two windows. And now this top floor is all enclosed and weather tight.
How does it feel to be finishing the roof finally? It feels good. I'm tired of working up here. So stay tuned to our next video where we will be installing our downstairs windows, a front porch with a redwood deck, and our interior staircase. We'll see you next time on the Tomarosa. Thanks for watching.